FCK editor, it does the coding for you, so you don't actually need to know how to code. Isn't that cool? All right. So uh, let's say you want to uh, link a picture in your FCK editor to another page. All right. So uh, earlier on, I created a page called Option One, and I want this picture to link to that page. What I would do is. I would click on insert edit link and choose the URL of that page. In this case, that URL was thenetjedi.com backslash option one. Okay, click on OK. So now this picture is hyperlinked. And what it means is that when somebody clicks on this picture, they will go to that particular web page. All right, click on save. So now, if you, for example, if you click on this item or if you hover over it, you can see that a finger appears, right? The cursor changes. That means that this item is now clickable. Click on it, okay, and you will come to the page called Option 1, saying this is Option 1. All right, so if you click on uh, Cars again, you come back to this page. All right, so let's say, for example, we want to uh, link some text to another web page. So let's say uh, this portion of text here. Okay, let's type something. Uh, click here for uh, cool searches or something like that. All right. So click here. You want this to link to another website. Highlight this click here. Click on the hyperlink and let's lead this to google.com. Click OK save you can now see that click here for cool pages uh, now is hyperlinked so if you click on this you will go to google.com or in my case google.com.my because I'm in Malaysia all right so click on back uh, this is how you can input images text and hyperlinks into your page using FCK editor uh, another cool thing that you can do is you can actually embed video, all right? So I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, let's say we want to embed video under the home page, for example, all right? So uh, home, let's click on that. Click on edit. So we want to embed a video. Let's go to YouTube. Okay, now in YouTube, uh, search for a video. I'm actually going to choose this uh, video, the Nike Football Right the Future. I think it's a pretty cool commercial. Uh, however, I think it might be cursed because uh, all the players in this video didn't do very well in the World Cup. Of course, besides the, uh, the Spanish team that threw the newspapers away. Yeah, besides them, uh, <laughs> most of the other players that appear in this commercial didn't do too well. All right, so maybe this commercial is cursed. I'm not sure. All right, so let's say you want to have this video appearing on your website. You can see here there's an option, Get Video Embed Code. Click on that. All right, so now you can actually configure the video. You can see the example player here to look like any way you want. So you can have it play in HD, show border, include relevant videos. Okay, let's say we want this. You can change the color of the player to match your website. Okay, let's say my website is kind of grayish, so I want this color. Okay, so once you've got the correct color and uh, properties that you want, uh, let's say we want it to be the smallest video possible, which is 580 by 360. Once you've got that, copy the code. Uh, go back over to your website, so welcome to me website here. All right, so what you need to do is, because this is actually in code, you need to change it back to the source code. Okay, once you've done that, just paste the code, then click on the source code and change it back to the normal editor size. Okay, so you can see this video has already been embedded. Once you click on save, it will then appear on your website. Now, uh, this particular website, it's still too, uh, it's still too uh, big to actually uh, appear in full on this website, all right? So uh, if, for example, the size is not... Uh, uh, correct or it's not the same size that you want there are a couple of options that you can do but I'm actually going to try and make this smaller right so minimum width is 200 pixels so let's choose 200 pixels and just make that correct all right so copy the code again go back here click on edit 
all right click on source and uh, everything that had that code which is object height whatever just d delete that and paste this in so now you have the new code save and now the video appears here so now you have a video on your website so if you click on play this video will actually play for you all right so uh yeah you can make this bigger so 200 is probably too small you know you can play around with it maybe i don't know make this 400 mm, that should be about the right size i guess so if you edit it and uh delete this and change it back to the source code and paste that and save yeah that's about the right size so if you click on play the video is then embedded into your website so that's how you embed video uh, that's how you uh, create pictures upload pictures and uh, you can also uh, create hyperlinks that lead to other websites oh and one more thing about pictures is that you can actually embed pictures from other websites okay websites that uh, are not your uh, not on your server okay so you can embed a picture from another website uh, somewhere else okay from anywhere actually so uh, let's say we go to the bottom and we want another picture here let's align this to the uh, left okay we want a picture to appear here right so let's look for a website okay uh, uh, under Google I'm gonna choose Shrek since we've got the Shrek theme going on all right, so under images, okay, we want this picture of Shrek. All right, Shrek is looking good. All right, so uh, you can view the image, okay. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to copy image location. Okay, so this is the URL for this image. So once you find an image that you like, that you want to embed, copy image location. All right, go back to cars. Now click on the insert edit image and paste the URL here. Once you've pasted the URL and click somewhere else, you can see that the image has already been embedded. Okay, so it's embedding it from another website. And you can even resize it to uh, any way you want. You can add a border. You can align it to the left. And there you go. It appears here. And this, is, this uh, picture is not on my server. It's from another website server. All right, and uh, it works almost the same way. You wouldn't even be able to tell. So this is how you use FCK Editor, all right? And uh, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please leave me a comment. And until next time, adios amigos.